Good lad. <clears throat> you worked hard last night. Proud of you, buddy. Seems our work is never done. Once more into the fire. Godsman. Lord. Morton was a really, really, really kind <clears throat> for but and I'm sad. Lauren? <laughs> I am, I'm sorry for your loss, sir. More metals. Someone bring this. My legs I got it. Morning, I thank you kindly for your words. I'll be sure to remember your name. It was an honor drinking with all of you. I going somewhere through. Hi. Thank you for coming. We're done here. <clears throat> Ew. Put this in the front car. Can I ask the sudden change of heart? My brother's dead. Morton. Blacksmith and tools. I. No one tells me. I. I left around midday. We're diving into back. the hell holes or whatever place oh. your lord sent him. I didn't realize people were back. I'm sorry. Ah. Well, he spoke kindly of you. He had high hopes for what you achieve. But I kept in good conscience that any more dwarves die in foreign lands. And he needs to go home. Ew. Front card. Don't suppose I could ask you to reconsider. <clears throat> no. <sighs> I'm truly Kinsman. sorry for your loss. She medals. Let's go. Through. <sighs> When I leave with the others, there's some letters inside he left to people. I'll entrust them to you. <clears throat> Try to gather up the rest of the uh, picks. Oh. If your family needs anything. Good luck out there. Live long. And best of luck 
in the war to come. You too. I heard it's not Hold exactly sunshine and rainbows spirit. back there. Be careful. No. <clears throat> Others are back. Pitch. There's your bad news. How bad? Come on inside. Hey, hey, purple thing, real quick. It should take more than two seconds, since I can't seem to find the big man. You don't know me, and I don't know you, but... When do they get back? You Oil. see the big man next time, could you? And tallow. Don't hand you a Fairly late. Oil and tallow. The sun was heading down. The big man? You mean dry? <laughs> Uh, I was at the front. Big bastard, since Fuck. It was easy. He always knew who was calling him. But Boy, he meant a lot. Yeah. Better than you were. What happened? I make sure he gets this. Thank you. Have you ever yeah. find your way to Thank the you. stone hammers? Yeah. Use that. Your presence will be missed. You can find me. I appreciate it. Rope skinsman. <clears throat> oh. Come back. Aye. Uh, it's time for another. Young lord. Gather him up. You have a lady waiting for you. Yeah. To have me waiting all day is quite an insult. I was at the front. I apologize. Hmm. You have a moment of your time now. A moment. Hmm. Then we speak inside. The dwarves are leaving, yes. Mm. <sighs> the status of your father? <clears throat> I don't know. I brought him in yesterday. They took him to the clinic, did what they could, said he would be in and out, and it was touch and go. And then I was called to the front. I've only just gotten back. I was hoping you might be able to I inform see. me. The last I had heard, he had not awoken. I had hoped to hear more from you. No. Sorry. I see. Then we plan for the worst. And hope <clears throat> for the best. With the long beard gone, do you know the status of the forge? No. Again, I've only just come back. I've only just heard the news. Right. Right? One thing after the other. Right. They're going to start asking things of you. Yeah. I've heard it. <clears throat> Beyond within the city. From what I've been hearing, they're going to start asking you to leave. Create negotiations with the other towns. Beyond just notice and its nearby allies. Han mentioned this, yes. I wish for you to ask them to take me with you. Not only me, Dredge. I have asked for nothing. Nothing much in return from your father. And I would ask the same of him if he were leaving. Not only can my prowess help you. I have business outside the town. And I'm afraid the jingle in my pockets would upset them if I leave. <clears throat> you want Dredge to fight? Not I do. Beyond just fighting outside the city, I need to get him into other towns so I can get him into other arenas. Get his which name means out, I must be there too. I understand. That makes sense. I honestly feel better traveling with you two anyway. Good. Then let me know when they ask of you. <clears throat> I'll put up a stink as long as you do too. Very well. Hmm. Any plans for the Let's festival go. today? Other than... Hmm. None of mine. Besides schmoozing with nobles, that's about the extent that I get for a holiday. Lucky you. 
Would you prefer to schmooze with nobles during a holiday? No, it was more sarcasm. Can't stand nobles. <laughs> Thank you, Lady Noses. I'll you and me both. get in touch with you if anything changes with either of the things you asked. Do let me know. And let me know if you need anything. Thank you. Well, that's good. Kinsmen, the loss that we carry will be a heavy stone in our hearts as we move forward. But we will ensure that our kin, that Modin, returns home no matter what storms enter our path no matter how high the mountains we cross we will return home ready yourselves Toti. You mind filling me in? I'm a little lost. <sighs> uh, there's game back. Yeah, yeah, we can. We can talk and say. My condolences. <clears throat> I apologize for having disrespected you before. My brother's death was greatly premature. <sighs> It's about as bad as you think. Others came back more than dear Johnson are confirmed dead. And Sarah didn't come out. Uh, 
I don't know exactly what happened. You're gonna have to get the details from the others because I heard she sacrificed herself, but also they ran and rubble came down between them and I don't know exactly what happened. It's... All I know is that they're all saying that she's... not back. <clears throat> he's back, but he's different. He, he has so much hatred now. He looked at me and I was afraid. I... He's, he, I asked where he was. He thinks he's still down in the case, and I don't know what that means. And I'm... The rest seem... Well enough, they're handling everything okay-ish. Um, it's... Where are they? The others, they're about town. I, I don't know. Vezran um, said that he's going to lock himself in, in his room for the next couple of days. Fucking hell. Venora and the others. They're, they're, um, they should be around, at least. I, I saw them. Here or? <laughs> Recovering at the... Yes. Recovering at their home. Okay. <clears throat> Any news on on? I went to check in yesterday. He's, he's still. Oh. He's still alive. To out. But it's touch and go, is what I heard. A lot of the imps won't let us in until we give them information. Of course. Right. They want to know where we went, how he ended like this. Oh, fuck's sake. And one of the guards is really, really mad with your dad. Fenton, yeah. Because of all of the lost men. I know. Yeah. I heard rumors. I'm going to check on on and then I'm going to find the others to figure out what happened. <laughs> Happy festival. They're gone. They song Tori. Uh, my lord, need me to go with you. No. Power numbers and all that. It's fine. Thank you. Stayed with all night and survived off of coffee. We're both alive, but no improvement. Can I see him? It doesn't even rise anymore. I'll ask. Give me a moment. Frank as well. Did any of you die? Sorry, I wasn't able to be there, by the way. Morning, loadout hut. Morning. Alco. Lord. Uh, Marcus! Wait, no, what? Yeah. Best day for you, good sir. 
account. You live under a rock. Die, I live in the fucking yes. clinic and I'm stuck out here. Do you think I listen to gossip anymore around town? No. You. Need. Talk. To me. I don't even know who the fuck they are. I'm in the middle of a few things. I'll seek you out though, okay? I'll find you. Why do you think I've been inside forever? Been gone for a while. Oh, bottle of green tea here somewhere. I assume you guys getting cooped up in here is not fun. Morning. No, I wish to be back on the front lines, actually. Any chance of visiting hours open? Huh. Ulrich. No. Unfortunately not. Lady Heidemann's checking for me. All right. Hotel, and we have too many people in there that are injured. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We had a large infant in front just yesterday. I'll see you and soon. And the bench is open. Ah, yes, but excuse me. How is Bordard Hart's condition, well, though? I do deserve, I do think the boy deserves to know. Deserves to know? Excuse me, Sanders? <laughs> He's your father, we are so you deserve to know how he is. Cleaning some Why is that rooms. questioning? I am waiting confirmation. I'll be back later. I understand. It wasn't a, it wasn't a question. Do you think he deserves to know? Is not a question, is it, Sanders? It's his father, man, my lord.
Circle back. Uh, may the V be back? Are they home? It is true. They are. Thank you. Yeah, you're gonna have to probably wait for a bit. The gate was broken. You say broken. Tyler, pause. Has Venora given you permission to enter the newly revitalized fog wall of the grove? <laughs> Doesn't sound like it, no. <clears throat> you are going to wander back to the river and forget why you came out here. Motherfucker. <laughs> I'm sorry. Soon. Hmm. <sighs> Come on, buddy. Well, so much for that. <laughs> Guess I'll fucking fuck myself. <laughs>
I guess I'll just never know what happened. <laughs> That's fine. <clears throat> Where are we riding off to? Hmm? Where are we riding off to? I actually don't remember. I hmm. knew I had somewhere I needed to go, and then I... I was in the woods, and I... Hmm. I tried to follow you, and I lost you very quick. That I rode first. Something you need? Yes. Um, an honest talk would be good. A very serious one. Step into my office, I guess. In the council room it is. Hmm. Seats too well. Yeah, I get that a lot. Love you. What's the plan? Four. This. Do I have to spell it out? Okay. We're losing the war, currently. Gazetto's cut off. 
the robber baron has once again pushed up to the cross keys. He is now making raids with the cavalry of the few cavalrymen he has. The dwarves, a powerful ally of your father's, are gone. And the wall's not done. And the barons are spending money on feast day. Ulrich mentioned your father is in a stable state. Which is a lie. He has not moved from the same state he was when you brought him in. There is no rise and fall. His body is still warm. So he's still alive. But his condition has not improved. And Ulrich being, well... Ludwig, being the more honest one, who's now at the front lines, mentioned to me in passing of the hour he watched him that he would not be surprised if his sword did not wake up. Decisions are going to have to be made. I understand. I've had this... By you, whether you want it or not. Talk I with the noses already. And what does she think? Same thing. I'm going to have to make choices. I understand. Okay. I am... trying my very best to wring my hands around Dario's annoying neck currently. Which has been proved very difficult. I might have something, though, that will cause him to sit when I want him to. A very old oath that he has to keep that I remember, and he doesn't. You think Dario cares about oaths? I bore witness to the last person he swore an oath to in a church of blue. And because of his actions, that he's currently trying to redeem himself for, I would think he is trying to be the better person and submit to such an oath. Clifford. <sighs> Sir, the Inquisitor is downstairs asking for you to. Apparently the Radads are of need of you. Fuck's sake. Here comes our choices. <laughs> fucking choice to her. No. Now it's up to us. The less experienced. <sighs> Thanks, Clifford. Thanks, Clifford. Hey. He's pulled through worse. I'm sure he'll wake up sometime or later. <sighs> That's just the top of my list. Confidence. Let us instill confidence. We look like shit, but we can Fit pretend for yourself, not to be I'm shit. gorgeous. Lady Heidemann, why is it whenever I'm looking for you, you're somewhere else? I was informing the young lord of the current condition. Ah. Fair enough, I suppose. Lord Inquisitor? The Redards have a request of the both of you. The Baron of Mem would come and tell you himself, but he is indisposed. An argument with his brother or something of the sort, I think. No, it's sure not my business. You make your way over to the Hospital. clinic, I'll explain it, so you should probably dress somewhat nicer. Understood. Lord. Bring him to the clinic once he's changed.
is he getting his attire? Speak of him, and he shall appear. If you wish, I can go into the emissary's home and retrieve those letters for you while you're on go while you're gone. Just put them on my desk. I'll get to them. Of course. Come on, Stefan. It took you back. We need to talk once I'm done with this. I'm glad you're back. As soon as you're available. Whatever that is. Right. Shriek? Ah, Shriek! The person I rarely ever see. Del on a fast day, good sir. Uh, if I, oh, what the process for that would be like, maybe I could get some yeah, guards to come with me and just run the building and be, and and be like, hey, that's stolen goods, good. goods, or something like that. Yes. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to be sending the Sergeant Sanders and Seth Manfred as a security detail for uh, Miss Laudia and the young Lord Edhart yeah, to some sort of meeting the Radards set up in Cassetto to see you're aware see one where your head of security is. Understood. I'll go check in on that. He knows it's a lot of trouble. My Lord is still in intensive care. Where is Lady Hyderman? She's right there. Excellent. That the word? Never heard of it. I'm assuming this is going to be the first you're hearing about it. No one's briefed either of you about anything? No. With the current situation on one is. I'm one trying to get to it, I guess we didn't. Very well. At the moment, as you know, the Radards have little to no coin to their name. No silver. Calls out of the question. This is becoming an issue for continued operations by Radard men. As you know, the Imperium can take care of its own, but the Radards are not able to effectively finance their own war. Now it's clear, of course, that's the <coughs> senior Lord Erdhart is made it clear that the station of the Radards is that they don't want to give any breathing room to the Imperium to take more influence, yada yada, etc. Very well and good. If that's the case, however, you're going to need to convince someone to part with their coin. The Baron Mem has set up a meeting with five of the most prestigious nobles over at Cassetto. They are the ones who make the most silver there. What he requests is that in this meeting, you manage to succeed in a few requests. I went out of my way to have some of our men there gather some information about these people. Not something that the Baron supplied, but I figured I'd at least send you in with a bit of knowledge. The five nobles you're talking to, one is by the name of Jamjun Kill. He's in charge of all the fishing and fishing boats in Cassetto. He's quite wealthy, and he has very little faith in the Radards and even less in the Imperium. He's incredibly arrogant, and he's a half-elf, if that information helps at all. The other is Eric Alganto. He's the main landlord in Cassetto. Quite wealthy. Believes that the Radards can do better, but he wants to cut all contact with the Imperium, and he's cautious. He is a human. 
There is also um, Gespon Segano, I think is his name. He's the current sitting noble in charge of Cassetto itself. He dictates its local rulership and answers to the barons, yes. But he's well off, not quite as wealthy as the others. He has very little respect for the Redods, but he does favor Imperial support. He is human. He might be able to play off of that. So now there is a cunning woman by the name of Relza Vino. And she's the noble who currently owns the tavern and the public kitchens in Cassetto. While she isn't wealthy, she is well off, able to live easy. As she's loyal to the Redods and dislikes the Imperial Presence, but understands its need. She's well-spoken and calm, and an elf. I'll we'll have to try and get her to agree, hopefully. But the final of the five is a man named Goma Padero. He is the noble in charge of the town's boat building and wagon repair workers. He makes the least out of all the other nobles. He's fair in his wealth, somewhat. He's on the fence about the Radards and the Imperium. He's very quick to anger, but he can be reasonable at times. He's a dwarf. Use that as you see fit. These five are the ones you're going to be meeting with. It's not going to be easy by any means. So I encourage you to annotate what needs to be asked. The Redards are looking for five concessions from these nobles. Five in total. The first one is local housing being made available for the Redard men. The time and resources to build a barracks can't be afforded right now by the dynasty. The nobleman, Eric Algando, who's the main landlord there, is going to be asked to give up some of his property to act as barracks. He's not going to like it, but he must be convinced. And no, he's not being offered anything in return. Barons have nothing to offer in return. The Baron of Mem is hoping that they'll count on their loyalty, and the positions they have and the coin they've been able to make in this province is thanks to the dynasty, and they should do well to remember that. The dynasty is also going to request that at least half of all fish that are caught in Cassetto are sent to Nodis to be dried and stored in case of an upcoming siege. This is going to be request of Jamjin Kel. That's probably going to be the hardest one. He is an arrogant fuck. But you'll have to do what you can. The noble known as Gespon Sagano, or Sagano, I, I don't know how to pronounce these names. They want to be asked to integrate Imperial soldiers into the local garrison. But more importantly, they want the Imperial quarter matters that are dispatched to the Casado to be put in charge in full authority of the town's stockpile for the sake of cohesion. And let's be honest with each other, the locals here are less than honest. Imperial quartermasters will ensure that things come and go at a fast pace, recorded, so any discrepancies can be researched and found out later. Likely, uh, Sagano is not going to like this. But again, it is for the purpose of efficiency what we don't need is for supplies that go up missing. Now, that raises a problem of the food situation for the soldiers there. This further puts pressure on Cassetto. The Major needs to keep a majority of the things brought by ship at the Embassy to keep the front lines fed, clean, and prepared to fight. Cassetto is in the back line, for now. The female noble by the name of Relza needs to be asked to help provide meals for the soldiers to the station there. It would be best if they were supplied by the nobility's own product. They have more than enough. They are well off. The tavern is meant to be used as a temporary canteen. It should be easy. The noble owns it. The people there probably won't like it, but there is no other choice to be made. The very last bit of this headache is about Goma Badero. A number of Imperial wagons have been destroyed or damaged in the fights of the robber baron. And the woman here, Hala, who is in charge of the Carter's Guild, 
doesn't have the manpower necessary to both take care of poor her businesses can't and that of the military gomar has a large workforce in Caseto. if they could be redirected to do these repairs we'd be able to get more things coming and going with ease in terms of supply lines i know it's a lot of information and i hope you've taken note but that's your goals for today with this meeting. The nobles have been gathered at the very tavern that you'll be asking to requisition. They should be waiting for you as we speak. Very well. Are we going under escort or no? The roads to here Your escort's are you. quite dangerous. It's all we can spare. Very good. The sergeant and the staff sergeant will see to it that you're in one piece. Off the record, I don't expect that the nobles will agree to any of this. Leverage them however you can. Make promises, even if you have no intention of fulfilling them. The war needs to be won. Everything else can be dealt with later once the province is stable. But if the Redards aren't going to allow the Empyrean to step up and take care of these problems over a pride issue or a control issue, then they need to get their coin from somewhere. You'll have to be convincing. Sergeant, Staff Sergeant, get your mounts. Good luck to you both. Aye, sir. Aye, sir. <sighs> Maybe, my lady. Staff Sergeant, there should be two Fucking hell. Okay. Alright, <clears throat> quite a list. Yeah. I've got all the names in my head, I think. I'll get my horse, I'll be right back. Hey, you. Hey. Um, ready to ride? Coming with me. Well, you all know me, I'm always up for the job. Have to. <laughs> Fair enough, I'll get my horse. I need you away, of course. you put too little faith in me. If I'm out there, you know I'm going to be I beg your fucking pardon. They were good fighting men too, Ms. Dowie. Good fighting men and builders. <sighs> All the stone. We're now short of stone and builders. I'm aware. The nobles were ranting about it. They offered to pay some to stay and they refused. Even here you can hear that some of the local soldiers are looking for a place to pin this failure on someone. You have an idea who it might be. You already heard this morning how some of the NCOs feel. Things are going to get difficult unless action is taken. And besides, trying to catch a man coming off his horse is hard to do. I'll let you take point for the most part. Well, You're more proficient hold. at this than I am. Back? I'll oh. jump in when I can to help, though. How about you take lead and I'll take the rear? Oh, come now, Sergeant. I can handle like the imp sympathizer. No come problem. Come I just promised summer. trade tariffs to him. My, uh, the others... Riding skills are slightly hampered. Not so sure. They need a local lord. We'll work it together. You realize she's right. They are local lords, though. My lord, my lady. Are you ready? It's you're the one in charge. 
of military operations, as I've already known. We're ready to go. We'll follow you, Staff Sergeant. Sergeant I'll take up the rear. Behind us. Good luck wherever you're going, young lord. Need be, I can lead, Sergeant. If need be. We don't have good luck with horses. No matter what. Well, we let's just say. <laughs> Looks like you're crushing that thing's spine. <laughs> More than likely see nothing. This is why I joined the infantry, my lord. <laughs> Lords never go without <laughs> sworn man. See orcs, we have to speed by to get to the militia at Cassetto. They should have got those bows and crossbows by now. I had the guards send them up to keep for safekeeping overnight. I appreciate you handling so that for me. Is, uh, out on duty. I figured. Yeah, so there's no trouble, I just wish... I wish that it could be genuinely appreciated by someone more. Well, you. I would have loved to have been there. I was just getting a little hot under the collar. I believe it. I'm glad you're here now. As the two of you continue on horseback, you realize what's been asked of you. It's a sticky situation. The ruling family doesn't have what's necessary to trade or engage with for what's being asked. Either promises have to be made, threats, leverage, blackmail, whatever is possible to ensure that the Radads have what they need to prepare for this possible siege, and at the very least, the certain inevitable conflict. Ladia, you realize that, without a doubt, you probably can secure the Imperial Sympathizer. But a majority of these nobles, they're scoffing at the local leadership. They have no respect. Kyler, you think on what it is that Lottie said to you, that they need a local lord, a local noble. This is the last thing that you wanted to find yourself in the position of. You don't feel ready, but you remember your father's words that you never will. It's something you just have to do. The actions you take here today at this meeting could determine the outcome of the next skirmish and how much support the front line has. Off to the right. Just like waiting along the beach line. If promising trade tariffs doesn't work, I'm just going to straight up threaten the bastard and say, Well, without the Imperial support, where will your business go during the war? You can't leave, so you might as well just die. You'll need the Imperial support. If promises don't work, that surely will. I have no they idea how the fuck I'm gonna handle these people, Audio. I think addressing them all as a group and asking them what they currently need. They'll of course answer a coin that we know you don't have and go blah 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 and mock you for it. Or... You could go the smart route and attempt to appease them with promises of titles or land or things off the wall. Think of what comes after, Tyler, because after this comes the Vapex. We know as soon as the Robber Baron's gone, when we're at our weakest, the Vapex will move in, buy out the Sardillo, and then we're going to have to deal with them. It's going to be a mess. <coughs> so, if property could be secured, like, I don't know, the vineyard for the landlord, because we're going to war either way. We might as well invade their property, AKA the vineyard, is true and give war. it off to someone in the future that can the take care of it, mine, maintain the, the land. Iron mine, the a landlord camp. would be needed for Resources such a thing. Untapped, unknown, but then again, that's very bold to say that we can beat the Vapex. Apparently they've been pushed so far back just because of the Baron. That is, of course, a very bold move. 
The other's not so sure. Oh, fisherman. Can't top a coin to the fisherman. Now he has to give half of his food to the barracks and to the Imperial supply. Imperial can handle its own, but of course, the Imperials that are staying there will have meals prepped in the tavern. More than likely, fish do you prepped by the fisherman. I suppose we could offer Imperial boats, lifeboats, if you want, to assist him in the fishing venture as well as cooks and scullery maids from the ship's kitchens to assist. But then again, that's promises I can't make, but probably wouldn't be too harmful and inquisitor would more than likely agree to it. It's a small ask. There are others. I think for the elf, the lord of, or lady of the tavern. An easy way to appease her would be just stating quite simply, it is either orcs or the robber baron. At this point, if you want this land you call home, this tavern, to still exist, you'd probably do right supporting our endeavors to win the war. They will probably get extremely egotistical knowing it's all up to them that the decision rests firmly in the coin that they give or the services they provide. Alright, Stefan, you're going to wait here. Let's start with promises. Pretty little lies. Nothing. The only assistance we've received has been mercenaries and imperials. And even they is but a grand army. Well, the presence of imperials outweighs others, so I'd recommend you go first. They still bring more security you have to that much. not worth my time. Neither should they be worth yours. Need I remind you we owe their assistance with the uh, orc attack that happened recently? Ah, their assistance. It only came at the cost lost. of us almost being destroyed, right. Gascon. Or did you forget? Tell me about it. <sighs> I have not forgotten. Almost is better than fully. My lords. Do we have the pleasure? I do Lord not believe we've uh, met. Kyla Erhard of Nautis. Pleasure. And you? Uh, Nadia Heidemann. Lord Gaspon. Gaspon. You deal with him for now, if you're going to address us both. Paste it, chat. Is there a. Uh, a reason for the uh, visit here? We like to. Uh, there is. After you, Lady Hardwin. Go on. No, please. You are the lord of this region. Do not let the Imperials hmm. interrupt you. Well, I don't think we need a uh, I would escort be up here. More open to uh, listening to the Lady Hardwin if. You do not mind. Of course. We all want the same thing here. Very well. That should be no issue. Remind me of your name again. Lord Gaspon. I see. What is your... Paste it, chat! I am the uh, ruling power of Gazetto currently. Mm -hmm. Ruling power. As in, you hold much of the... Trade and workforce. 
Maybe. be? Yes. Assuming much. I see. What is it you specialize in in terms of workforces and other remedies? We are a fishing down after all. However, most mm. of the uh, boats and fishermen fall under the hill over there. I see. And you would fall under more of the... The general uh, order of the town itself. What the fuck do we need from this guy again? You own much land here. Houses, etc. This is way too much info for me to take in. <laughs> more, but a decent amount. I see. As it currently stands, Lord Gaspon, we are in the process of beating back the robber baron. But, to as much as I hate to admit it, and not only the Imperial side would like to admit it, it all costs one thing, as most war does. Coin money. Which you more than likely know very well, the Radons just don't have. To the point of going in debt with the Imperium. This is true. The Redods, uh, have little assistance to offer, even the recent attack on our, uh, town. We were at the mercy of the Imperials and the mercenaries that came to help us. The Redods were nowhere to be seen. I see. Well, it is good that you have Imperial Steel to keep you safe at night, at least for now. This agreement we have the Redods may wane in future. Imperials can take care of their own, you see, but the Radard dynasty and its people are not its own. And that is the issue. A garrison can't be maintained in here without a proper barracks or proper places for them to sleep at night. Can't just sleep on the docks or in the sand now, can we? And that and a number of things that I'll ask other ladies and lords of the town. I won't lie to you. I have been asked, quite simply, to lay upon some concessions. I'm going to ask you to make an agreement. One potentially favorable to you, but also favorable to winning this war, as that is what currently matters and is the Imperial objective. Redards is security, and to maintain <clears throat> if you guys could paste that into FD spoilers, that'd be really handy. Vice upon it. Also, if we know what the fuck we're supposed to do with them. <laughs> we're going to need houses here. In Cassetto. We're going to need to put up bunks for both Redard and Joint Imperial Forces. Otherwise, fatigue, dysentery will spread rampant. <sighs> How about we, uh... A conversation yes. best suited for many years, maybe? Or Perhaps we could do this over drinks. Very well. If you insist, I shall follow you. Please. Do let the tavern keep no, I guess, of a round of drinks. We'll rush here. All right. <sighs> Marcus, if you want to wait here. It on real tab. I am and so Sanders, if you want to wait outside. You yeah. don't want to overwhelm everyone in here. Oh, kind of you. Lord. In fact, <laughs> I shall <laughs> right, <so. laughs> Fuck, I need to go back All in right. One second. My lords. Very well. My town, and you are a guest. If you insist. But here's fine. Just who are you supposed to be? I'm Lord. Words cut deep. Make yourself as each of the eyes of the different merchants sense. look at you, they don't seem to care much for this meeting, but they're here merely because perhaps they feel that they must. 
Lord Kyla Erhard of yes, Nautus. Sir, sir. Pleasure. Uh, so, you're the reason we've been cooling our views in this fucking tavern instead of working. It's not that know. bad of an establishment. I'm sure we'll come out of this a lot better. We do well to. I hope those are not honeyed words, my lord. Oh no, we're all on the same side here, after all, aren't we? Good to meet you. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Well, he must be uh, Padero. Is that how I pronounce that? Gomar Padero, and yes. It's a pleasure to meet you. I've heard about you. Good things. You're in charge of the uh, really? fishing here. Oh, boat building, I should say. <laughs> fishing. You hear this guy, Jamjin? <laughs> Can't even get his fucking story straight. This is great. This is great. Yeah, it's gonna be a great meeting. Well, forgive me, normally people introduce themselves to me, so... I, I could give a shit who you are. I shouldn't even be here, I should be working. It's not about Instead, who I am, it's what we can do for you and tavern, what you can do for the Redods. Lady Heidemann. The finest top shelf wine. <laughs> oh no, uh, we, by, by all means, Omar, you are already speaking for me. Thank you, Rosa. Thank you. I'd be rejoicing go. at what the Radods can offer for me, seeing as they have failed to offer anything in Just the past hear them out of if our I would. constant conflicts. Of course. They have hungry minds. You must be Lord Kale. Kale? Yes. Right? See. Si. Mm. You are correct. Hmm. You are in charge of the fishing then. How much of your resource fish goes to waste, though, right now? Waste? Mm. Mm. I believe more of my issue is producti productivity between orcs, rubber baron's man, and no less of misbehaving slavers. Mm. I can barely keep my men uh, occupied or focused on their work, too busy, distracted. Scared. Mm. Too many in town and not on boats, leave. is that it? Lacks, as it were, exactly. due to all the issues. I see. That's most unfortunate. We're dead. Their minds are rattled. And no amount of alcohol mm. could ever fix that. Sounds like you need a bit of safety and security. Doesn't that sound about right, Lady Hedman? It does numb the soul, though, of all the trying times, now doesn't it? <sighs> Is not all that's grim, though, Kahil. <coughs> I know you are not a fan of the assistance we've been receiving, but it's been better than nothing. I would question that, but somewhat I will remain grateful. As I can be. Can you you have been rather quiet, my lord. Been nothing. I'm simply We've already studying. suffered many a lot. Ensuring that I, I am studying. Why? You're asking us questions. Mm. May I have a name? If you would, kind lord. Arak Algando is my name. I see. A pleasure. Indeed. Uh, not really. Just trying to figure out how much coin I can get out of you. Well, what is it you... Currently overlook with Inkasato, please. I am not native here. <laughs> I am the main landlord here. Ah, you are control landlord. the rent and whatnot. Mmm. I see. How is that going? I can't imagine any good, forgive the banter. But there is a war on. Yes, but people need to rest somewhere. What people? Mm. No one's coming in after the rubber baron sealed off everything to the north. Well, fuck the rest of the people that live here and work for a living, huh? Oh no, we're talking about business. If we're talking about the people, then that's something different. You're the landlord, you're lord of the land, you make your money through the people and the people that stay here. If there's less people staying here, 
or people can't get here, well, am I wrong? A point will seem. But then, what are you here to offer? Relief of that. Relief. Mm. I'm curious, but I would have to hear more. Well, we're in the process of fighting back the robber baron, securing the province, regaining control. Quite simply, when that happens, you'll have your people coming through again. We can rebuild Nautus, well, the entire province back to how it should be. All we need is a little extra nudge. And it's basically a done deal. What kind of extra nudge are we talking about? Well, as I'm sure all of you are aware, the Radods are stretched thin in terms of coffers. Now, I don't ask any of you to give up your <laughs> hard-earned money, but we can work out a way to have that extra nudge. Each of you have a fantastic skill set or something you own that makes you very important people. You have value. Critical value. The dots have seen you. Endeavor. And my colleague here, my good lord, would puff it out of his chest to say, yes, you have been seen, which is very much not true. If you were seen, the good barons would come down themselves and give you this whole lecture, but now we sent two very young individuals to do it in their stead. Because they have not the heart to ask things of you that they know they can't fill with empty promises. Which is the current underlying issue? I'm hearing there is a lot no of coin. Honeyed words here. I haven't heard an actual offer out of either <laughs> oh, of you. Oh, no honeyed words. I'm telling you how, exactly how it is. The Radods will give you nothing now. And that is just how it currently is. But the is guarantees the Imperium can make, for instance. There is also guarantees that the current barracks yeah. and Radod soldiers can make to ensure that safe travel of wagons can go to and from Cassetto, ensure a good workforce can be maintained. They have no materials to provide any financial aid. They can, um, not financial, but in terms of materials and goods, boats, for instance, we have quite a few emergency vessels used aboard our own, well, current ships, but they're not going to sink anytime soon. They're currently waiting in not as proper, not being used. That could be put to use by a good strong workforce for the fishing and whatnot. So you're proposing to take away sitting. work from me, hmm? Is that what I'm hearing? No. I'm you wanting to, to give you the resources to make ships. production go high. <laughs> no, not the largest ships, but we do have skiffs. Several small ones to not scare away larger fish and whatnot. If it is protect productivity you seek, the Imperium can ensure not only proper individuals and sailors to man those boats to assist you, but can fairly give you them to rent per se until the end of the war it would boost you your productivity this, of those that are lax Lottie, a number of the other nobles their faces are somewhat unre uh, unreadable quiet but it does seem with your last comments that Gespon seems intrigued with the 19 you think he's very much in favor of it perhaps he won't say it out loud here but you think that he is the one over Taking away from your workforce is not what we're after. We're not wanting to replace a workforce you currently have with Imperial soldiers. They have their own duties. As I said before, the Imperials can take care of their own, but Nautis is not their own. They are held up beating back what is currently trying to invade Nautis and take it over. I ask you and point you all a very simple question. What do you think happens when and if we beat back the Robber Baron? 
What comes after for Nodis? It's no secret. We have prying eyes from our neighbors and Palamon. As soon as we are at our weakest and the Imperials leave on their ships, our enemy will pounce and they will try to absorb this small province. We need to ensure that doesn't happen and so productivity must be go through the roof. And to doing so is costly. <laughs> Empty promises are one thing, but I have proof in a harbor that can help your small town in Nautis out. Okay. Boats, okay. ships, so, men at arms. Again, I could really give a shit who puts their name on the land and what this fucking place is called. All right? I need people and I need work. That's pretty much it. So all this hoopla mm. about people absorbing other provinces and political bullshit, I could care less, honestly. You might as well just stop talking about that to me. I don't know about the fucking rest of you, but I'm worried about work. As long as we receive aid from anybody, that is all that matters. But nobody wants to help us. Lady. The only Proof ones that the have offered of this any help have been the Imperials. The Radards have promised in the past and have failed. Why would you be of the Imperium be any different? You think because, because we are not force, guardian that makes you any different still damn near treasonous Lord, <laughs> I mean, if you, you need proof of security is. you need only look to the efforts we have provided Cassetto. to have disillusionment we've beat back orcs we've beat back robber baron skirmishers they're currently still on the road but we still send out active patrols to keep wagons going to themselves. and from etc your proof is there. I need not prove it to you any other way. Do you have any words, Kyla? Well, I understand your concerns. I mean, no one really wants Imperials to come in and take their jobs, right? But... The Imperium have been losing wagons during this fight, during this war. Wagons that Nortus proper can't repair. Though I've heard... That might be in your wheelhouse, so to speak. If you want work, what better work? Yeah, maybe. But I could get the work either way. You're asking me mm. to go hand over fist to help that dynasty out when they haven't done shit for me. No, no, no. If you're coming to me, you need something from me. So I want something back. Do you propose something? Yes, as a matter of fact. Please, let us hear it. Preference on all shipbuilding contracts. Workers from here, they can, can go back to notice if anything mm. takes place there. You hear that, my fellow lords and ladies? You want to say public stamp on the majority monopolized trade tariffs to and from. That is quite a heavy ask. That might put you all out of business. I just... <sighs> no, it won't. You oh, have a very specific uh, skill set. Really? You just casually make a remark mm. to the rest of these people? Really? Yes, I do. Tensions are uh, very high. Yeah. You're not convincing me. Be good. Then I need not convince you. I shall let the good lord attempt and do what he will. You don't know of any official shipbuilders in Nodis proper. Something could be worked out. What of you, lady? What of your lands here? The tavern? The bunkhouse below? This place is a beacon, a... How do you call it? A... A spotlight for Cassetto. You know, and when that's gone to due to war, them, then what? Them what? What is new for you? What is reasonable, next? But you look around the faces in the room, and none of these people seem well, reasonable. Half of them are glaring at you. The others are probably scheming on how they could use you for what they want. And it clicks in the back Both of your head. You've been in a room like this before. And in resources. It's not with nobles. 
And You've I sat know across that people who the slit throats in the dark. Been their best You've been at meetings involving in dread ways. knives and other scum. But they just didn't wear good clothes. We're still struggling to keep our Everyone wants safe. something. I have a struggle Everyone keeping needs workers something. in my kitchens. There are no shipbuilders in Otis proper. <clears throat> Amongst you other remember, problems, Tyler, getting that Kovas tried to make a deal, or o uh, Mem tried to make a deal with the Imperium to get larger the ships because they had them. are invaded. The, the seas are invaded. Perhaps. Honestly, at this point, my only concern is that we're able to restore our trade so that we can get mm. our How'd your business look when Sawtooth we started popping up? Properly. That is extremely valid, and I would think not great. you'd not be able to look great now with the Imperials controlling the docks, really don't do it. No, but sort of this fucked off, and, is, and we don't have an official shipbuilder and not as proper. It's true. I can't imagine you'd want you to live out your life on this side here. city on the coast, oh, or yes. do you want to move up? But perhaps Capital. the guard around Nautis proper can be doubled with Radar troops. It is definitely something I'd have to ask my colleagues. You are cashing a lot of coin with that mouth of yours, my lord. I certainly I don't hope see you can back not. it up. You're a Could smart be. businessman. I'm just pointing out a Strength gap in the, the market. Guard here is paramount. But to do so, we need bunkhouses. We need a place that True. troops can gather and relax.